Hello and welcome to module four, um, inter-VLAN routing. So we're going to continue. Now we're going to do the packet tracer. So when we're all done, uh, just make sure you upload the packet tracer as your homework. All right. So now we know that these VLANs cannot talk to each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a router to enable us to have them communicate with each other. So I'll click on the routers and I'll bring in a 29. Oops, let me just do a 2901 router. I'll put it right in here. Uh, just change the label on it to R1. All right, let's go in there. And we're going to do a router on the stick. And you'll see why it's called router on the stick. Go to CLI. And of course, you're going to say no. And enter, enter, enable. Config T. No. IP domain lookup and a host name of capital r1 first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to fa well actually you're going to do um do control z and i'm going to see show ip interface brief i want to see the interfaces i see i got G gigabit zero zero so i'm going to do config t and I'm going to go interface G0 slash 0. All right. Gigabit Ethernet is on the 2901 router. And I'm going to say no IP add. I'm going to remove any IP addresses if it has. And I'm going to open up the interface. This is going to be the mother interface. This is where all the sub interfaces are going to be created. We're going to create the two default gateways, two sub interfaces for VLAN. 10 and VLAN 30. We're not going to do anything for the voice. This is not this course. This is for, this course is strictly for data. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create the sub interface, which is going to be 0 slash 0 dot 10. You want to number it number 10 because you want it to be for VLAN 10. You could have any number, but it would make sense to make it number 10. So it's, you know, you can relate it to which VLAN it's in. And you can see it came up immediately and you don't have to type no shut. Why? Because it's part of the G0 slash zero. The first thing you're going to do is type in cap. You don't even have to type the whole ground, the whole command. Just type ENC and hit the tab key. DOT 1Q 10. What this is saying, any packet that is leaving the interface is going to be tagged with uh, VLAN number 10 according to DOT1Q, according to the IEEE uh, 802.1Q. That's what encapsulation DOT1Q10 means. Every frame that's leaving will be tagged with number 10 according to the IEEE 802.1Q. You have to do this command first, by the way, before you assign the IP address. 192.168. Uh, this is for VLAN 10. And uh, we assigned the number dot one and dot two. So we'll make this dot three. 255.255.255.0. All right, that's it. We just created a sub interface, a default gateway for router for VLAN 10. If you hit the upper arrow key once, twice, three times you get the history command the repeated command so change the dot 10 to dot 30 right for vlan 30 hit enter enter hit the upper key once twice three this is going to be the tag 30 right hit enter hit the upper key once twice three and same ip address but it's going to be 30 right enter and you are done all right so do control z all right let's copy this information to the nvram copy run start I haven't done that for a while enter enter now it's part of the nvram all right so you can minimize this now i'm going to connect the router to this switch too you can correct it you can connect it to either switch it really doesn't matter so let's connect it to switch two but first i gotta make a port here as a trunk so it connects to the gigabit zero slash zero so let's choose port zero four because we're already one two and three are taken if you go to the command prompt 
and you type en config t and you go to the interface uh fast ethernet zero slash four and we're going to say switch port mode trunk enter all right do control z and that's it all right if you type show vlan brief i just want to show you something uh well before we leave this okay check it out you got the three vlans that we've created and um zero one and zero one is for both right the voice remember that zero three is for vlan 30 and zero four is um fast eating at zero four should be a trunk right so um <clears throat> did we do that let me just make sure um uh, yeah fa04 is uh oh my god i'm on the router here that's not good on r2 how did that happen i should have been on switched on called i called this r2 oh my god i gotta change the host name you see the host name is incorrect all right you guys didn't remind me that so let me change that <laughs> how are you gonna remind me that and i'm gonna say host name sw2 not r2 all right it's okay all right so now let's um put a straight through cable from fast ethernet i'm sorry zero four to the gigabit zero zero all right now we should be able to ping each other now let's go to this pc remember it did not ping 10.1 and this is what's going to happen he's going to send the frame over let me just bring this over here he's going to bring the frame over the frame it's going to go in here he's going to take the packet out of the frame from uh, that's coming from here give it to sub interface 30 and they will travel back on the trunk and come back here and, and i'm sorry give it to pc1 and then pc1 will reply so if i hit the upper arrow key since i already has this and hit enter i'll wait and let's say if this all works out for us oh it did not work out and the reason it did not work out is because these guys don't have the default gateway on their um uh, connected so his default gateway is 192.168.10.3 right his default gateway is 192.168.10.1.3 this guy default gateway is 30.3 not 10 right fix that you can easily make a mistake this guy is default gateway is 192.168.30.3 right and this guy is in vlan 1 so his default gateway is going to be 192.168.10.1 I'm sorry dot ten dot three all right let's try the ping again and see what happens so um let's see it should be able to reply wait the first time out by the way there you go it works the first time out is because of the ttl number remember we talked about that later all right we could do the same thing by the way with a layer three switch so let's uh click on routers click on switches down here and grab a 3650 switch okay click on it all right and with the layer three switches you can oops we have to power on the switch all right okay so um where is the power for the switch right here why isn't it powered it was powered before 
Why is it powered? All right, so continuing on, all you had to do is just grab an AC power and put it right in this empty hole. And then when you're done, you go back to CLI. You should be able to boot up. And when you get there, just say no. Hit enter, enter. We're going to type EN, config T. And we're going to say no IP domain lookup. Do you want this switch to be able to do routing for switch three? So the first thing you are going to do is you're going to say IP routing. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to create the VLANs. Let's say VLAN 40. Uh, let's name that engineering. Let's do VLAN 50. And let's name that uh, production. All right. And now what we're going to do, we're going to do interface uh, VLAN 40, right? Just like we did when we did management. And we're going to give it the IP address 192.168.40.1. Oops, with a mask of 255.255.255.0. .255 and we're going to do interface VLAN 50. And we're going to give it the IP address 192.168.50.1 with 255.255.255.0. Okay, you can type no shot on the interfaces. Um, so now we just bring in more PCs, just minimize this, just bring in another two PCs, one PC here, one PC there, right? And we're going to connect, let's say, this PC to fast, e oops, fast, I'm sorry, connect this PC to fast Ethernet, you give it zero, 01, connect this PC to fast Ethernet zero. So let's give it the IP address since we're there. Uh, give it the IP address 192.168.40.1. Um, okay. We get about the default gateway for now. Let's do the same thing for this guy since we're there already. And give it the IP address 192.168.50.2. All right. And with that mask, now we go back to the switch and we got to make sure that these two ports, um, if you do control Z and we're going to do show uh, VLAN brief, uh, brief. And all right, now I'm going to get the gigabit zero one and zero two and put them to the appropriate VLANs. So, here we go. I'm going to do config T and I'm going to do interface gigabit zero slash one and I'm going to do um, a one slash zero slash one gigabit one slash zero slash one and I'm going to do switch port mode access same as we did it before. And switch port access to VLAN 40. Access to VLAN 40. And then I'm going to do um, 0 slash 0, 1, 2, 2. And I'm going to do uh, switch port mode access and i'm going to do switch port access to vlan 50. all right so pretty much the same thing now i should be able to ping each other through the vlans right so i ping 192.168.50.2 let's see what happens and then we need to troubleshoot if there's any problems. All right, so there is. Oops, sorry about that. So, oh, this is not green yet. So on PC3, 
All right, so let's try again.